Hey everyone, this is AJ and um, I am doing this video because today makes three months that I have been on tea and um, feel really good about that. Um, it's been interesting to say the least, um, but you know, in previous videos I talked about uh, some of the changes that have happened um and i'll do a few more uh as time goes on um a little sore right now because um today i had to have a biopsy um of the left breast um i i spoke about the whole ordeal in a previous video uh, I believe that was episode three. Um, and I had the biopsy today. So, you know, it was fast. Um, they just numbed the area, did a slight incision, took like a core needle, um, you know, a needle with like a little hole. So it looks like a little tiny shovel and just poked it in and just took some samples. And, um, you know, the doctor was very optimistic and um, now it's just waiting for the results, um, which I feel pretty good about. Um, I don't think it'll be a negative result. Um, it's just, you know, having to go through this again is just very, very annoying for me. So um, I will be having a surgical consult for a top surgery in February. So I'm so looking forward to that just so I can have top surgery and not have to deal with things like this again. Um, but it did not dampen my spirit um, about today being three months that I've been on tea. So I'm really happy about that. And um, it's crazy because, you know, of course a lot of people are telling me some of the changes that have been going on uh, according to how they see or hear. And one of the big things that a few of my friends and family members have been saying is that my voice has gotten a little deeper. Um, and, you know, I'd be like, oh, okay. You know, but my voice has always been deep. It's always been low um, or have a lower tone. Um, but uh, today, I had to really, really sit and say, yeah, my voice got deeper. And it wasn't because someone said it. It wasn't because I heard it. It was because um, I went to call Alexa so that she can play some music for me. And she did not respond. Like, nothing. You know, I mean, no light spinning, nothing. Um, and I called her, like, Alexa, nothing. Called her again, Alexa, nothing. And I went to my device, I have like the, the dot, uh, I went to my device and <laughs> made sure that it was plugged in at the bottom um, and then made sure it was plugged in at the top because I do unplug her. I don't trust her. So I unplug her, but she was plugged in and I called her again, Alexa. She did not respond. So then I'm like, okay, it might be my voice. So I cleared my voice and said her name with a little higher uh, voice and uh, she responded. I had to have a come to Jesus moment because my AI device did not recognize my voice so she wouldn't respond. So that led me to realize and to accept the fact that yeah, my voice got deeper. Um, I was in a bit of denial. 
uh, because like I said, my voice have, has always been low. It's always been a little deep, you know, in singing, I've always been a contralto or a tenor. Um, that doesn't mean that I couldn't sing in a higher range. As a matter of fact, I was training to be a mezzo um, or, you know, just a strong alto, which I was. Um, but now I can't even hit those notes. And even that didn't tell me that, you know, hey, your voice is changing. I cannot hit the same notes I used to hit six months ago. Um, yeah, I was in denial. Alexa had to get me all the way together. That girl didn't respond, didn't say a word. Um, so, yeah. My voice got a little deeper, y'all. My voice got deeper. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, and I have been noticing that I've been getting a lot of cramps in my lower body, like my hamstrings especially. And, and I figure that that's just normal growing pains. Um, but those cramps hurt. Um, and stretching doesn't seem to help. Like, ouch. But, I mean, there's nothing I can do. You know, getting a cramp like in the front of your thigh, in your quadricep, or like in your calf, or even in your foot, it's doable. You can kind of handle it. You can, you know, press it out or rub it out. But getting one in your hamstring your whole life changes. Like, it like grips you. Like, yup, I got you. We're not going nowhere. But, I, it hurts. It really hurts. Uh, ow, I just hurt myself. This is where I had the incision from the biopsy that hurt. Um, yeah, that, that hamstring cramp, it, it, it got me together. But, um, yeah, other than that, no other new changes. Um, so I'll let you all know when more changes start happening um, in another video. Uh, right now, what I'm going to do is relax. Uh, I can't work out. Um, you know, my doctor is saying don't lift anything with my left hand and for about 24 to 48 hours and you know, the numbing agent is uh, wearing off, so I'm starting to feel it now. Uh, so they gave me an ice pack. I have an ice pack. I have to squeeze it and shake it and then just put it right there. Yeah, that's what I have to do. But today was still a good day. Um, I was a little freaked out about having the biopsy again. Um, it's just, just one of those things. But, like I said, um, I'm not going to let it take my joy away anymore. Um, I'm going to enjoy my evening. I hope you all do the same. Um, hit like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, I'll be doing more videos, uh, for now. I'm going to sit back and <laughs> tell Alexa to play my music. She better listen to me, too. Uh, I'm going to have to change the whole voice thing through the app so she can know that this is me. Like, this is not an imposter. She's, she's acting real funny. But it's okay. It's okay. I'll just do it in a higher voice until I'm able to change uh, the voice recognition in the app. So, I would... Catch you guys later. Have a great evening. Peace.